Seventh grade, unit two, lesson three. More about constant of proportionality. Number one, Noah is running a portion of a marathon at a constant speed of six miles per hour. Complete the table to predict how long it would take him to run different distances at that speed and how far he would run in different time intervals. If the time in hours was one and he's running six miles per hour, then the miles traveled at six miles per hour would be six. If the time in hours was a half hour, one half is half of one, so half of six would be three. At six miles per hour, the distance traveled after one half hour would be three miles. The next amount of time is a little bit trickier. It's one and one third hours. One way to figure this out is to figure out how far he would travel in one third of an hour. If he travels six miles in one hour, then he would travel one third of six miles in one third of an hour. Imagine this block represents six. When we cut this block into three equal pieces, each piece is worth one third of six. Two plus two plus two equals six. So one third of six is two. So in one third of an hour, he could run two miles. At six miles an hour, in one hour, he could run six miles. And in one third of an hour, he can run two miles. So if he ran six miles an hour for one and one third hour, he could run eight miles. Since this one looks easier, I'm going to skip down to nine miles traveled at six miles per hour. Nine is equal to six plus three. Since he ran six miles in one hour and he ran three miles in a half hour, he would have run nine miles in a total of one and a half hours. One way to figure out four and a half miles traveled at six miles per hour is four and a half is exactly half of nine. So nine divided by two equals four and a half and one and a half divided by two equals three fourths of an hour. One and a half miles traveled at six miles per hour is three times less than four and a half miles traveled at six miles per hour because one and a half plus one and a half plus one and a half equals four and a half. We can divide four and a half by three to get one and a half, and we'd have to divide three fourths by three to get one fourth. So at one and a half miles traveled at six miles an hour, it would have taken them one fourth of an hour. Number two, one kilometer is a thousand meters. A. Complete the tables. What is the interpretation of the constant of proportionality in each case? 1,000 meters for every 1 kilometer or 1 kilometer for every 1,000 meters. This information tells me that 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So I have to ask myself, what's 1,000 times smaller than 250? 25 hundredths is 1,000 times smaller than 250. For every 250 meters, you would have 25 hundredths of a kilometer. What's a thousand times smaller than 12? 12 thousandths is a thousand times smaller than 12. So 12 meters is a distance of 12 thousandths of a kilometer. What's a thousand times smaller than one? One thousandths is a thousand times smaller than one. So for every one meter, it's one thousandths of a kilometer. On this table, one kilometer represents 1,000 meters. So for every five kilometers, I would have five times a thousand meters. One kilometer equals a thousand meters. Five kilometers equal 5,000 meters. For every 20 kilometers, how many meters would you have? 1 times 20 is 20, and 1,000 times 20 is 20,000. So for every 20 kilometers, 
you'd have 20,000 meters. Three-tenths of a kilometer would equal how many meters? Well, three-tenths times a thousand is 300. So for every three-tenths of a kilometer, you would have 300 meters. The constant of proportionality, tell us that. For the left table, the constant of proportionality is one thousandths of a kilometer per meter. For the right table, the constant of proportionality is one thousand meters per kilometer. Number three, Jada and Lynn are comparing inches and feet. Jada says that the constant of proportionality is 12. Lynn says it is 1 12th. Do you agree with either of them? Explain your reasoning. What Jada means is that there's 12 inches per foot, so I would agree with her. And what Lynn means is that there's 1 12th of a foot per inch, so I can also agree with Lynn. Number four. The area of the Mojave Desert is 25,000 square miles. A scale drawing of the Mojave Desert has an area of 10 square inches. What is the scale of the map? If 10 square inches represents 25,000 square miles, then one square inch represents 2,500 square miles. Since one squared is one and 50 squared is 2,500, then the scale is 1 inch to 50 miles. Number 5. Which of these scales is equivalent to the scale 1 centimeter to 5 kilometers? Select all that apply. A. 3 centimeters to 15 kilometers. That's equivalent to 1 centimeter to 5 kilometers. 1 times 3 is 3 and 5 times 3 is 15. D. 5 millimeters to 2 and 5 tenths kilometers is equivalent to the scale of 1 centimeter to 5 kilometers. 1 centimeter divided by 2 equals 5 millimeters and 5 kilometers divided by 2 equals 2 and 5 tenths kilometers. E. 1 millimeter to 500 meters. That's equivalent to the scale of 1 centimeter to 5 kilometers. 1 centimeter divided by 10 equals 1 millimeter. And 5 kilometers divided by 10 equals 500 meters. Number 6. Which one of these pictures is not like the others? Explain what makes it different using ratios. The width of this portion of L is 3 units, the width of that same portion for M is 4 units, and the width of that portion for N is 9 units. The height of that section for L is 4 units, the height of that section for M is 8 units, and the height of that section for N is 12 units. The ratios are 3 to 4, 4 to 8, and 9 to 12. The 3 to 4 ratio is equivalent to a 9 to 12 ratio. 3 is 3 fourths of 4 and 9 is 3 fourths of 12. So pictures L and N are alike and picture M is not alike because 4 is half of 8 and not 3 fourths of 8.